One of the main problems, funnily enough, during lockdown is even though everything's empty, there's absolutely no parking. Everyone's at home. So you get to jobs like this and there's absolutely no parking. I gotta be honest, if London was like this all the time, it'd be such a beautiful place to work. Had to do the old, leave the tool bag, propping the front door open. Right, quick debrief. Smudge on lens, sod. Right, there is an LED strip which runs all the way around here, as you can see, well, you can't actually see it, it's tucked into a recess up there. And it's controlled by these Lutron switches. Now these Lutrons, this is like a, an eco-Lutron system, if I, it's the only way I can describe it. It isn't a full Lutron system, it is, it's their light version, if you want to call it that. It's basically a fancy light switch because behind it is just normal wiring. So it's just a fancy light switch. They switch it on, sod all happens. So it's either one of three things. It is gonna be either that switch is shot, that's option one. Option two is a transformer or the driver pack, I should say, is gone. Or three, slightly more unlikely, is the LED strip has blown, which is unlikely because all of that LED strip is all in different sections. It's not one continuous length. I'm gonna go with one of those three things or option four, a loose connection between the driver pack and the LED strip. It's gonna be one of those four things. So let me set up and I'll go through, we'll go through each one together until we get to the bottom of the problem. On a separate note though, but it has got a balcony. Nice view though. If, you know, if city living is your thing. Anyway, right, enough of Thomas Nagy Estate Agency. Let's get on with some work. Right, so first step, we are gonna get our little clamp meter. I actually just got this one. This was very kindly. Um, I lost my, well actually, I didn't lose my old one. I, I had one of these and it was on the roof. I was loading the van up and I put it on the roof of the van. In fact, I, I was recording at the time, so there's probably some footage of it. I left it on the roof of the van and I drove off. So it fell off probably on the North Circular somewhere. So someone's, Either a truck ran over it or more likely someone picked it up and has now got it in their cupboard at home. But I had to get a new one and ITS very kindly sent me that one. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it because they're not cheap. You take your test meter and let's test between live and earth. Let's see what we've got. The dimmer switch is working. So we've got 220 volts there, give or take. It's not an exact science because with dimmer switches, what I tend to find is the input voltage never matches the output voltage when the dimmer's on full. That's normally as high as you tend to get, sort of 220. Every dimmer switch is different, but I tend to find you'll never, you'll never get the, two, the full 240 on the load side of a dimmer. You just, you'll always get a slightly lower reading. But that is working. In fact, if you dim down the dimmer switch, yeah, you can just, reg you can watch the voltage regulates up and down. Quite a nice little clamp meter, actually. I like it for a mega. It's nice. I will just out of curiosity check between live and neutral. Okay, so we've got voltage between live and earth and live to neutral. Well, that neutral to earth. Nothing. That's good. Okay. So that dimmer switch is working. So that's step one. Test the simplest stuff first. Sometimes even the stuff that you think, nah, it can't be that, it's way too simple. It is actually worthwhile testing it. Because the amount of times you so I especially for me, I, I look at stuff and I sometimes I'll look at the more complex stuff and you just sort of, you, you alienate the real, real simple stuff. So yeah, dimmer switch is working. So check the simple stuff first. Okay, so we know that it's not the dimmer switch. We know that much. So I think the next step, let me go up to the loft because the driver pack that controls those LED strips is up in the loft. I hate these things. Shortcut to a hernia. I must make a, I must make a will I keep remembering to. Don't know why, I've got fuck all to give anyone. Okay, now, that is the driver pack. It's a beautiful job. Now, it could either be the trans, this driver pack is faulty. If it isn't that, then it's gonna be either the cable running from here down to the strip, or it'll be a fault on the strips. Right, what I'm gonna do, set me test meter to DC, and I'm gonna check the output side of the transformer, this driver pack, because I want to see if we've actually got any output on the driver. Okay, so this here is our 24 volt side. So what we'll do, yeah, so we've got 24 volts there. So that driver pack is definitely working. There's no faults there. We'll neaten that up later, but for the second, 
that there looks like the power that's going to be now the power supply the 24 volt supply going down to the strip downstairs so if i let me set the big ladders up downstairs and i'll meet you at the led strip right okay so i don't know how well you can make it out but that's the led strip and that just runs all the way around until it comes all the way back to here that is the start of our circuit for the led strip incidentally with clamp meters although you're not technically supposed to the one thing i really like about clamp meters which is why i always use them is because you can just hang it from stuff you can just stick it places just while you want to get a reading on something so that's one reason why i do like them they're very versatile just to hang hold them they're super versatile in that respect let's get our little test probes in there and we've got a volt right there's a break somewhere because we know we've got power leaving the transformer we just haven't got any power leave coming down here so we must have because all of this has been undisturbed this has never been touched and since it was installed so i'm guessing we've either got a break in the cable the plot thickens we've got power leaving the driver pack but nothing down here all right give me five back in a bit I don't really understand how we can't have voltage there. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, but we will battle through this together. There's either a break in the cable somewhere, which I, I mean a break, a loose connection. Either there's a joint, there's a joint on the cable and it's worked loose somehow, or I mean at 24 volts, it's actually quite a lot of current to pull through a little cable at 24 volts. So maybe it's just, it's arcing some, it's a loose connection, it's, it's arcing and now it's, or a mouse has had a nibble. That's the other favorite. We know we've got voltage coming into this driver pack. We know that. And we know we've got voltage leaving the pack. But what I have noticed, this wire, this one here is a different cable to the one which is downstairs because this is a two core rubber flex and the one downstairs is a bit of bell wire do you see what i mean so somewhere i'll put money on it there's a break on the, wherever that joint is that i put money on it that'll be where the issue is i've just noticed that but how the fuck do i run that cable in It's a hatch, yeah. Ah. Ah, don't you just love it when a plan comes together, huh? What cluster fucks behind here? All right, that answers a lot of questions. So this is our feed going out to the LED strip, and that's the bell wire, which is downstairs. I'm gonna put money inside that red bit of sellotape. I'm going to put money, that's where our problem lies. Judging by the scorch marks on that, I'd say it's got quite hot. I think the biggest thing with fault finding is, I mean, I haven't actually found the fault yet. We're still finding it. But I think the biggest thing with fault finding is you've got to be methodical. You've got to have, like downstairs, you've got to start with the simple stuff, eliminate that, move to something a little bit. Sarah, my PA. Would you like to see her? So just finishing up here and uh, it look, I mean, it looks like the, um, the connector itself actually melted. That's what it looks like. Something along those lines there. Um, so at least it was, a, it was a relatively easy fix. It's just hard to find, but I'm almost done. Give me, I don't know, half an hour, an hour max. You see these companies in London and they're advertising like, oh, we'll do everything on scooters how <laughs> look how much stuff you've got to carry just to change an led driver it's just mad <laughs> Fuck! i hereby challenge any scooter rider to transport them on their scooter i shouldn't say that someone in india is probably looking at this 
thinking, yeah, all right, I'll challenge you to that. 